We are celebrating the 125th anniversary of the automobile ban on Mackinac Island, first enacted in 1898. Apparently that summer, somebody or several individuals, it's not clear, had automobiles on the island. They, they, they first appeared here in that year. They were spooking horses, and so a petition was brought to the village council on Mackinac Island to ban them. Some people were unhappy about that, and they, they bucked it for a while. In fact, it wasn't until the 1930s when it finally went to court and the court decided that the park and, and the city had full authority to ban them from here. Since the ban on the vehicles, people got around like they had been getting around in Mackinac Island, on foot, by bicycle, and with horse, of course. And that's the way it has continued to, to this day. Some people assume that the banning of cars here was done to create a sense of history, historic charm. But again, remember, they were banned in 1898. There were hardly any cars in the United States, about 8,000 at the time. We didn't associate horse and buggies with old-fashionedness at the time. But in time, as cars took over everywhere, you began to get a sense of history from coming here. All the manure is uh, composted and you've ever seen our beautiful flowers on Mackinac Island, that's part of the reason why. There is no mail delivery on Mackinac Island. Everybody picks up their mail at the post office. UPS delivers by horse and dray or, or by bicycle. In the 1970s, with the development of snowmobiles, many of the winter residents here, now in, in the winter the tourism season is done, they petition to be allowed to use snowmobiles and that was granted ultimately. Those are the only exceptions to the automobile ban. Unless it's official state vehicle use or emergency vehicles, we have you know, motorized fire trucks and, and snow plows in the winter. And then in 1979, when they were filming the movie Summer in Time, vehicles were brought here, both 1970s vehicles and 1912 vehicles. I don't think it would ever change. I think that would be uh, too much on Mackinac Island now. It's been 125 years, and this is part of what now makes Mackinac Island famous. You do get a feel for what life was like before the automobile took over.